This is historic, another historic news this week, an all-electric driverless delivery truck right here got a permit to deliver on the public roads in Sweden and did so. Its, its specs are impressive, uh, the future of it is impressive. There's a couple of caveats that I think uh, I, I think some of the articles that were coming out about this didn't really mention it, but that's okay. I, you know, I like to talk about both sides, good and bad, um, so let me tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, this is super exciting. So um, this is a, a, a company called uh, Einride, and uh, they um, they actually pretty impressive. They only had 10 million in an investment, and they already came up with this uh, truck. As you can see, I think Star Wars uh, fans can appreciate the front look of the truck, but as you can see, there's no even a cabin for a driver to ride. This is absolutely driverless level for uh, a, a truck. And now it does have the remote capabilities and right now during the testing phase, um, there is a, a person who remotely uh, supervises a truck and they can, can, can take control uh, at any time. And I think they actually have installed some of the communication points along the couple of routes that they're testing through, uh, but it's all precautionary. Bottom line is it can be controlled remotely, which is great, but it essentially it is a level four. Um, it does have the uh, uh, the cameras, the radars and lidars uh, built in there. So, and, and, and it, it's got a permit to do it. It's already uh, doing runs right now as we speak. Now the top line, top speed, it's limited by software at 53 miles an hour, but right now, and this is a caveat, you know, um, that's not the speed it's going on uh, right now. It's actually going at a speed a little bit lower than that. I'll uh, let me tell you in a second. Actually, here's another uh, shot of this truck, a close up. I just want to. I mean, it's a cool looking thing, right? I mean, uh, think about it. You can wrap it in whatever you want. I'm sure people will, people, the companies that will buy it, like put some faces or cool meme, you know, like hockey goalie put something mean on their masks and stuff like that. Here's another one uh, as as they're um, uh, delivering throughout the uh, uh, warehouse parking lot. Um, they do have uh, they do have a few videos of it actually uh, driving around as you can see and testing. Uh, on the back, it's not anything. It just looks like a regular delivery truck, but at front, I. Uh, uh, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love the look and, and just the fact that it's driving without a driver. I know we're, we've been talking about Waymo, uh, uh, you know, having the driverless uh, taxis uh, vans in uh, Arizona and it's always a big deal. But these guys kind of accomplished it with much less money than um, than uh, 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 Waymo did because, you know, as you know, Waymo is owned by Google with the limited, unlimited resources. Um, let me tell you about a few uh, impressive specs. Also, by the way, let me remind you before that, that this show and this channel is sponsored by Byte and check out their all electric M Byte, the um, SUV that's coming to the US and Europe next year. Don't forget to put yourselves on the reservation list. It costs zero dollars in about 60 seconds of your time. I've already did it, 50,000 other people did it, so make sure to get it on, on get yourself on that list. Um, there's a link in the description of this video, or just go to biton.com to reserve yours. Okay, now here's a caveat. This truck right now is only going three miles an hour. Um, as you can see in this video, it is going three miles an hour. Now, obviously, in the, in the warehouse setting, we're in the warehouse parking lot, as you can see, it's taken off from one. That's okay. Probably still a little too slow, but that's okay. Um, but when it's on a public road, it can actually cause quite a few unhappy drivers, uh, maybe even some people trying to pass it, especially if it's a one-way road, endangering themselves. Um, as you know, those those Waymo taxis in Arizona, quite a few people are unhappy with them, people key them, people throw stuff at them for the same reason, because they're too slow and too careful as they should be but it creates so much other dangerous situations around it. Not that there is any good excuse for it, but I'm just saying, you know, this truck going at three miles an hour on a public road, I really hope they, I really hope they up that. I, that's, that's a drawback that I didn't really care for. Um, now let me talk, tell you about a, a, a few stats. Uh, it's a 200 kilowatt uh, hour battery, uh, which is pretty cool. 124 miles uh, in range, which is also not bad, especially for delivery trucks. They go back and forth between a warehouse and a, in a few local locations, delivering groceries or for and so forth. And usually, you know, usually the, the, by design, all of those locations would have uh, uh, charging ports and charging stations. Um, 
then the range doesn't even be does it, it I, I don't even see needing a range that's over 100 uh, uh, miles anyway um, and just like I said I, I mentioned it, it it is in Sweden um, and uh, from their estimates uh, this will be um, a 60 percent cost reduction compared to a diesel truck with a driver a lot of cost obviously goes into the uh, the fuel and paying the drivers right and they're not cheap actually uh, truck drivers do get paid pretty decently because it is a tough job in terms of being a tedious job being away from families and so forth um so but it still will cut that down by about 60 percent I, I mean listen this is a future right um you know the, the technology the level four level five technology will probably go into the trucks like this because these are the easiest routes right pull out of the warehouse maybe go through a couple of streets uh, probably onto a freeway uh, and then boom get off the freeway and get to the grocery store whatever um, those routes are usually you know preset uh, you can map it out in 3d if you want which obviously is cheating uh, maybe as Elon Musk would say but I'm just saying those are the easiest to implement so these are the type of trucks that we'll probably see on the road uh, without drivers driving around among us uh, first before we see taxis or cars or or even semi trucks and stuff like that so um I think this is amazing news. I, I mean, we, I, this week we had quite a few interesting things. And, you know, I know we usually talk about electric cars or passenger cars, but this technology is now spreading. I just did a news uh, segment on um, an all electric uh, little airplane, the air taxi that's all electric. I mean, we're, we're, we live in an amazing, amazing world. By the way, Speaking about something amazing, I think our VIP list is amazing. Uh, it's for, first of all, it's free. We deliver exclusive stories to you guys right through your inbox that we don't cover, uh, just don't have time to cover on this channel. Um, and now we are featuring Deal of the Month. And this Deal of the Month actually comes from Evanex, one of our sponsors. Um, this is a lighted tee for the Model 3, the, the most popular item that they have. Um, they right now sell with $50, $50 off, but if you're on our uh, newsletter, uh, we will provide you with a discount code for another $50 off. So essentially, you'll get $100 off of this item. Um, so all you have to do is just basically get on our list. Um, it's free. And we will we'll be emailing this uh, code for the next four weeks. But after that, that deal is going to be done. So don't forget to do that. All right. That's pretty much it. I'm uh, looking forward to your comments. And I will see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.